Good morning, Falcons. I'm Gilbert Reyes. And I'm Alex Cunningham, and this is The Falcon Report. Tomorrow and Friday are your finals for the first semester. This will be the schedule for the following days. Tomorrow, school will be getting out at 2 p.m. Make sure to study. The HHS Science Fair is scheduled for February 7th. Your last chance to get paperwork submitted for approval is Friday. There will be a short Europe trip meeting after school today in, in room 2201 with Ms. Lewis. Here's Ellie with a segment regarding what you need to know about temperance and good citizenship day. Hey Falcons, Ellie Sullivan here. Today I interviewed students about citizenship day. Let's see what they have to say. My name is Elliot Page. My name is Anurban Patanayak. Clayton Chang. Jessica. Do you know what citizenship day is? No. Do you know what citizenship day is? No. Temperance and Good Citizenship Day uh, here at Hanford High School means we're basically the Falcon family. You know, this day started a while back, uh, years and years ago, and it's changed over the years. It actually started during Prohibition, I believe, and that temperance was to not drink um, and obey the laws of the Prohibition. However, um, it's changed to citizenship, meaning um, like the opportunity to vote. So they talked about, or we celebrated the opportunity people had to vote, and we really in the schools encouraged students that were 18 and older to um, register to vote. And so that's kind of the citizenship part of it. But it's really Temperance and Citizenship Day. They really put it, they meaning the government, put that day next to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Because um, kind of the right, the peaceful right to protest, being a good citizen was not only voting, but really standing up for what you believe in. And so they put it next to Martin Luther King Jr. Day so we could kind of celebrate both together. But like I said, here at Hanford High School, it's really about being part of the Falcon family, being kind to others, being honest, having integrity, working well together with others. And that's what really being a good citizenship here at Hanford High School really means. Um, hopefully that's, that gives you a little insight into Temperance and Citizenship Day. I'm certainly not an expert, but that's what I know. Uh, you help people who need help? Uh, helping out other people when they need it. Um, to care about others? Um, I think being a good citizen means you're involved in your community and you are actively trying to make the world a better place. Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, no, no I'm not. Thanks for tuning in. Now back to the report. If you are interested in submitting a short story for the Cavalcade of Authors Writing Competition, be sure to get that submitted by this Friday. See Ms. Blackburn for more details. You might be this year's first place winner who could also win a gift card to Barnes & Noble. Drop out of the library this Friday to watch the thrilling movie Venom from 1.30 to 3.30. Popcorn and licorice will be served and there are door prizes to be won. One student will go home with a movie poster. Curious about your PSAT score? There will be a PSAT information night after school at 6 p.m. in the auditorium for anyone who took the PSAT back in October. You can learn what your scores mean and how your PSAT scores can help you prepare for the SAT. The Falcon flyby will be closed tomorrow and Friday due to finals, and it will reopen next Wednesday the 27th. Clubs meetings today are DECA in room 1202, UN Women's, UN Women's in room 104, Ecology Club in room 2613, International Club in room 106, Knowledge Bowl in room 2204, and Music Composition, Composition Club in, in Miss Joyce's room 1007. This will be the last report for the semester. Good luck on your finals. We will send an update regarding when we will be relaunching. That's all for today. I'm Gilbert Reyes. And I'm Alex Cunningham, and this has been The Falcon Report. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.